Okay, welcome to the stream, guys. Uh, we are previewing an aircraft today, so we've got access to the 7879, as you can see, by Horizon Sim. Now, this is a standalone aircraft, however, you do need Prem Deluxe version to uh, use it, as expected with the Dreamliners. Um, we're flying in the Virgin Atlantic livery today, and we're going to be uh, going to Frankfurt. We will be live on VATSIM. We're currently not live on VATSIM at the moment. Um, but we will be going over, uh, logging into VATSIM in a second. Uh, reason being, it's a bit busy at Manchester at the moment, so I just wanted to show you the aircraft first without the noise and um, without other aircraft being about. Uh, so just a little look round the outside currently. And as you can see, it's, it's a really well-modelled aircraft. Uh, we've got a little Wi-Fi dome on top, which I'm glad to see. And um, it's really well put together. It does come with uh, two different types of uh, engines on here. So we're flying in the Virgin Atlantic 7879, which is the uh, Rolls-Royce version of um, the engines. And there are custom sounds as well, lovingly made by uh, Horizon Sim. Um, so, y you know, you're really going to enjoy this aircraft. They've worked really hard on it. It's been in the it's been in the making for a long time now. That's the Wi-Fi dome in it. That's where the Wi-Fi dome is on the the seven three sevens. Anyway, I may be wrong, Nicholas, but I'm pretty sure that's it. Uh, okay, so we'll get a little look inside. Obviously, there there is no cabin um, modelled. Obviously, the cockpit is, um, but if you want wing views and things like that, it's going to be uh, the standard. Like you won't see a window, um, but you will be able to set up wing views and custom views. I've just got the cockpit view inside, and um, we're going to look at some externals. But I just want to take a second to appreciate this beautiful bird on the outside here. Uh, what I'll do is I'll just pop the doors open uh, once we get some power going, so we get the battery on external powers and um, we'll get to the doors we'll pop open some doors so you can have a look so all these doors able to open although the cargo door is not quite coming open there front cargo is open but the rear one not getting anything let's give it another click so that should be closed and now that should be open, but it's not. Never mind. Um, so we've got front cargo hold. Let's have a little look at that. Oh, that's perfect view there. Look at that. Beautiful. Loads of space. And this livery is created by uh, Horizon Sim as well. Um, And they, they've, they've released it with a pack of liveries, so you, you get multiple liveries with the aircraft. And, and obviously, depending which livery you select, depends what engines you have. Um, as I say, Virgin Atlantic flying with the Rolls-Royce engines today, as you can see there. And you'll, uh, you'll hear these get started when we do get going. Uh, mo no, currently not a, uh, not a release date set, unfortunately. Uh, sorry if the mic's cutting off. I don't. I don't know if it is. Is it? Um, not currently a release date set, as far as I'm aware. They they're using this as a sort of bug run out. Um, they have found a few bugs with the aircraft uh, from the streamers using it. Uh, so th I'm sure they're going to fine tune that before they look at a release. Uh, this is this is basically their testing. Okay, Jordan. Thanks for that, mate. Okay, so I'll get these doors closed. We'll get back on the uh, cockpit view. All these doors closed there. See them close. Perfect. And um, we'll look to get, get set up. So Jordan in the... Uh, 
Jordan in the chat here, one of the uh, Horizon Sim guys. He's uh, he's going to help you out with any questions, hopefully, as well. And um, so yeah, feel free to ask anything while Jordan's sat in the chat. I think uh, a few of the others might pop in. I do have an issue with my YouTube um, chat, so I'm just going to open that up, and then we'll we'll get inside and get get started up. So unfortunately, the issue I have with using um, Streamlabs is that YouTube chat sometimes cuts cuts in and out. So I have to open a separate page up for chat. So we'll get that get that sorted now. Just give me one sec. Okay, there we go. Right. Hey, Kev. Welcome to stream, mate. How you doing, buddy? Good to see you again. Oh yeah, definitely. It's um, it's close. It's close. You can you can guarantee that, Mo. It's uh, very close by. It's going to happen very soon. Um, but they just want to make sure it's right. Is the mic cutting out? That's that's the question. Sorry if it is. Danny, hey mate, welcome to the stream. Uh, let's have a little look then. I'm going to have a look. Give me a sec. Oh, that's nice. Nice Qantas. Is that a special livery? Qantas 100. That's good. I'll give you. Uh, I'll give you. I'll give you an eight for that. It's not a ten, and the only reason it's not a ten is because I don't fly Qantas. But that's me, you know. Otherwise, it's a ten for someone who doesn't fly Qantas. I suppose an eight, but um, yeah, a Qantas isn't for me, my friend. I'm. I'm all about the Euro liveries. Okay, let's let's get going. So this is a cold and dark start. We've got the batteries on. We've got the external power on. This is not the official checklist. This is my little uh, quick start checklist. Uh, so we're going IRS on, seatbelts on. At the same time, I'm going to put emergency lights to armed there. Was that armed? Yeah, they're armed. FD power door. Uh, we've got to set the fuel. Uh, we're going to go for into the weight and balance to do that. So for that, I need sim brief open. Get my fuel... Uh, my fuel rates up and we'll just get rid of the camera off here as well so we're not clustered weight and balance up and we're going for 13,540 or there or thereabouts I did get pretty close to this before so 13 there and then oh, we're just going to have to leave it that it was a slight imbalance on the uh, tanks there and then payload we're looking at 23.6. Again, I got as close as I could before without stuffing things up. So 23.5, that's close enough for me. And we're there. Right. Okay, so fuel set. That should be in the uh, in the FMC there. Now we'll, um, we'll look to get into the FMC ourselves. FMC of radios. And what I'll do while we're here is I'll connect to VATSIM and just make sure that we're not inside another plane because we were before. There we go, looking good. Using FS uh, LTL traffic as well. Okay, setting up the FMC then, we'll go from the top. Uh, from the index, pause being uh, Manchester, Echo Golf Charlie Charlie. Route we're going to request from Simbrief. We've already set that up in the settings. Give it a second. It should come up with load. There it is. Okay, so I'll show you how to do that um, in a sec. Execute, and that's in. Okay, there's the flight plan in. We just need to do departure and arrival. So, uh, settings. This is how you set your, your sim briefing. 
I believe. Next page, there it is. Simbrief settings. Okay, get a look at that username. There you go. Um, so Simbrief settings in there, and that's where you enter your username info, and then all you've got to do into your index, start from pause, get your route in, request route, load, execute. My route's already in. Departure and arrival, we're going for two three right departure on a Samba One Romeo. There, so that's in and arrival. We are ILS Yankee two five right. There she is. And it's Unok four Alpha via DF four two six. Execute. Gonna have a little look through the legs because I reckon there'll be a discontinuity. Uh, it's all it, so you can set it all automatic. It does have VNAV um, available. I did do a little test flight before, a little test takeoff. I think I missed the. Did I miss the discontinuity? There was one. I'm sure there was. I'm gonna go back through one more time. Help me find it. Where's this discontinuity? Yeah, but it's all, um, you can have it all automatic if you want, or you can set everything yourself. I'll be using VNAV to take off. Uh, there is a little bug on takeoff at the moment where the, the front wheel feels a bit heavy, but we'll, um, we'll get, we'll get with that sorted. That, uh, they are looking into that already. They know, they know it's uh, a problem and they are going to fix it. Okay. So that's the route in. Uh, Let's go to init. Zero fuel weight. I'm going to have to get some info off Simbrief here for this. So zero fuel weight we're looking at at the moment. 143.6. Reserves, I believe, are 2,000. Let's just go to the top and have a look. Finres 5.2. Okay big cost index is 70 and that's everything I need to put in we do have the next page to go and outside temperature I believe is about 8 degrees so we'll get that in there I'm going to select take off to a 20% reduction there with the climb and that's armed I don't like to climb too fast Okay, flaps are going to be five. Center of gravity was six on there. Uh, we'll have a little look at the wind at Manchester here. Two three right, seven zero, two nine zero, five. So let's get that on. Two nine zero, five. With our outside temperature eight degrees. Previous page, get the speeds in and the gross weight for takeoff is Hi Yekaterina, welcome to the stream. Please do tell me if you're getting issues with my um, with my mic. Apparently it's cutting out, but I, I, I can't see that on the uh, on the streaming software at the moment. I think it's okay on Facebook. 156.6. Let's get that in. 156.6. Ah, speed's deleted. Yeah, get them in. Clear that. Okay, happy. So, that's all set. Takeoff set. Just have a look at everything. VNAV as well. Uh, 6500, roughly. Okay, and I'm happy otherwise that that's in there. I'll sort out the approach page. As much as I can. It's all set, don't need to. Let's just double check that. I was hoping I'd, I'd put in a Q&H, but landing reference it's not it's not there so 
Yeah, that's fine. Okay. FMC set. Let's just get the radio set up as well. And we are at Manchester. Manchester ground is 12185. After the aircraft passes from left to right, uh, continue Echo Echo 3 for uh, Tomjet 4 3 Golf. Let's have a little look outside what's going on at Manchester now. A lot of Tomjets about. I was going to be flying too, but I decided to hit the Virgin livery because I like I do like the red on there. Okay, so radios are set. Let's go uh, APU start. And we'll have a little, a little look at that. There we go, she's running. She's away. I, I, fortunately, I can't sit out and listen to that at the moment because of the, um, the FSLTL sounds. There we go, we can hear it inside. Hear the APU spinning up there. Okay, let's get anti-ice to auto, window heat, four of them on, packs to auto, nav and logo lights on, probably should have been on before really, but never mind, uh, we'll go flight directors on, set a speed to take off, 141, hit it at 145. L nav V nav on, auto brake rejected takeoff, barometer set and barometer setting is currently 984. Very tight quick spot on that. Going to be an issue with flying, but golf will be alright. There she is. 984, increase the range slightly on there, and I want ND big. Big ND. Get some traffic info on there as well. Auto throttle set. T cast set. Don't want to set the T cast just yet. So, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to clear the checklist because I don't go through the onboard checklist, but there is an onboard checklist for you to use. So, we'll override the checklist there and checklist override there. Checklist override there, and that should allow us. That should allow us to just continue. No, Nicholas, I'm not a pilot at all, mate. Not at all. Hi, Barkus. Welcome to the stream. Okay, we'll just get the uh, audio a bit higher and. Contact Manchester for clearance. We are 210 right. Information whiskey. Manchester ground. Good afternoon. Uh, Virgin 24 Tango. Type 7879. Uh, currently stand 210 right. Have information whiskey. IFR to Frankfurt, please. Virgin 24 Tango. Stand by your number two. I'll call you back in a second. Roger. Okay, so we're number uh, two for clearance. Uh, seven Tango Delta Manchester. So we'll wait out for that one. Manchester Ground, pass message. So wait, wait, buddy. Uh, you cleared to Ibiza on the Samba One One with a departure for zero seven four three. Okay, you can Delta hear the uh, Tango APU Tango running Tango there now. Zero seven four three, subject seven Tango Delta. Yeah, there is a hood. Subject seven Tango Delta, we back tonight. 
There's the hood. I've got a, the position all set up so I can see uh, it as well. Um, yeah, four four max contact, Manchester Tower, one minute, this one sixty five on today. Alright, 62, uh, seven, uh, Sunday, seven, Mike, uh, Just confirm, 118, 625, 118, 625 on the, uh, Mike. Shut up, will you, Romeo, so if you contact Tower, 118, this one's Okay, what I'll do is back. I'll set up the pushback, and also get rid of the waiting for Project 43 Golf, continue Pepsi, Papa, Kilo, Juliet, hold Juliet 1. Papa, Kilo, Juliet, Juliet 1, uh, Tomjack 43 Golf. Virgin 24 Tango Manchester Grid. Virgin 24 Tango, go ahead. Virgin 24 Tango, uh, you're clear to Frankfurt, December 1 1 with departure, squad 0730. Clear to Frankfurt, Samba 1 Romeo departure, squad 0730, Virgin 24 Tango. Virgin 24 Tango, we've got correct. Uh, Golf 1 Romeo Charlie, continue taxi. Charlie. Hey, Zai, yeah, I've been, I've been pretty busy, Kilo, unfortunately. Oh, we did it automatically. Whoops. Uh, but I'm here now. So we do have a performance page as well. I'm not going to lie. Uh, Jordan, you might be able to help me out here, but I, I don't really know. I don't really know how to use a performance page. Uh, as far as I know, it doesn't affect the FMC if you've set the FMC up. So I'm going to leave it as it is. But Jordan, if you can help us out with that, I'm the initialized flight. Please do so. Charlie, Papa, Kilo, Juliet. Zero seven three zero squawk. Let's get that in. Um, although it's a bit early, we'll go. We'll get that on. Tomjet seven Delta. Sorry, seven Tango Delta. Stand one two contact. Three face west. Okay. Three face west. Seven Tango Delta. Electrics on here. Fuel pumps on. Have we got anything in the centres? Nothing there. Keep them off. Don't have to get it on. Beacon on. And um, we're ready for push and start. Virgin 2-4 Tango, ready push and start. Virgin 2-4 Tango, stand 2-1-0. Push start approved face east. Push start approved face east. Virgin 2-4 Tango. Target 4 east. Golf, contact Manchester Tower. One minute, this is 4 6 2 5 today. 18625 over to Tower, thanks for the ATC, Vingret. Tomjet 4, 3 Golf. He wants me to face east. Uh, north, east, yeah. It'd be south, really, but never mind. The lights as well. Well, we'll see the lights in a second. We'll get a pushback and um, we'll do a bit of darkness. Parking brake released, and here we go. So push and start here, engine start, we'll go engine two first, start. Listen to the sounds, these sounds, all custom sounds. As Jordan says, custom lights, custom sounds. Horizon Sim is all over it. Okay. Set flaps five here as well. And engine one. You can tell I'm not a pilot. It's never going to happen. I've got a day job. Flying's a hobby. Nice little takeoff there as well. Oof, that was close. Throttles were still full. <laughs> Gear should be down as well. This is why you complete checklists, guys. Parking brake on. Okay, no longer need the push back, so we'll get rid of that. So we'll let the engines come up. Having temperature. That's a new one for me. 
Is that because of the packs? Because they're currently off because it's set to auto. Okay, while we're here then, we're not blocking anyone in, so we'll um, we'll go into darkness and have a little look at these uh, have a little look at these lights. There we go. Look at that beautiful, absolutely fantastic. That beautiful purple haze. I'll get them all on for you. Let's have a look. I'm being daft here. Where's the strobes? Are the strobes automatic, are they? There it is. Taxi lights as well. I, I just go blind. Fantastic lights. Let's have a look. Have we got the wing lights? Wings should came on. There it is. Wing lights as well at the front there. Absolutely beautiful. Really well done. Beautiful logo. Project 7 Delta Tango, taxi, Honeypack Papa 3, the uh, November Alpha. Okay, let's Echo, go back to. Uh, go back to real time. Bam. Get rid of weather as well. I'd like to keep this clear. Okay. So for taxi then, APU off now. Flaps are set, taxi lights on. Taxi lights on. Sorry about that. Papa 3, my November Alpha Echo, Delta Papa 7, Tango Delta. I do, Nicholas, yeah. I've not got a yoke, I've got a joystick. I fly with a joystick, my friend. Um. Okay, here we go. Manchester ground, Virgin 2-4 Tango, ready for taxi. Uh, the Virgin 2-4 Tango, taxi November Charlie 1 via November Charlie. November Charlie 1 via November Charlie, Virgin 2-4 Tango. Okay, we can get rid of Sim Brief now. And I'm just going to get ready. Manchester Tower is 118625, so we'll get that plugged in now. On standby, 118.625. There it is. And off we go. Yeah, side stick. Side stick or joystick. Depends if I'm flying Microsoft Flight Sim or uh, IL-2. If I'm flying IL-2, it's a joystick. Because it gives me joy when I shoot people down. But yeah, side stick. It is a side stick as well. I have it set up separately as well. Really, I should be sat in this seat. That's where I should be sat because that's how I have my setup. So my, my throttles are on my left and my uh, stick is on the right. Uh, but yeah, for some reason. I'm a, whoa, that's a steep takeoff. Look at that. For some reason, I'm always uh, I'm always in the left seat. I never change it. Okay, so we're going to set this to five thousand as is on the. Uh, Old Alpha 4. Let's just have a quick look. November Charlie 1. Yeah, Check coming up at the end here. Alpha I think we've got after traffic November passing 11. left to right. Virgin 2 4 Tango after the Thompson 737 pass. Oh, sorry, 787 passes right to right. 15 taxi pass 3 via Echo Delta Papa. After the uh, Thompson 787, uh, taxi holding point Papa 3 via Echo Delta Papa, um, Virgin 24 Tango. Okay, November Charlie 1. Wait for a 787 800 to pass us. This is the Kuro, I believe. This guy's flying. We're a bit bigger. I say 800, 787-8. He's showing up as a nine. He's not in a nine. He's not in a nine. I don't believe him. He's in an eight. Okay, let's go. Echo, Delta, Papa. It's Papa three. Uh, Nicholas, uh, to be fair, I've not done the A330 for a while, so yeah, maybe. Uh, this is a preview today of this beautiful aircraft, which is why I'm, I've, I've uh, 
completely dedicated my stream to this one. Now, what I'm, I'm, I'm going to tell you about the nose wheel here, it's very responsive. Um, you're definitely going to get those tight turns. You've got to watch your speed though, and, and that's that's a bit of realism for you. If you if you go too fast, if you go too fast for the nose wheel, you ain't going to be at a turn, um, which is is bang on really, isn't it? Like if you, you, you're not going to make those turns traveling too fast. So you've got to keep that taxi speed nice and constant and nice and low. Do we have an area controller? No, we don't. So that's pretty good. I mean, I do like having VATS in cover, but sometimes I don't like the constraints. We've got to climb to 41,000 feet um, today for our flight. So I want to do that quite quickly with someone telling me I'm going to have to uh, do one step at a time. Alpha for Alpha 4. So what I am going to do is I'm going to whack that to 10,000. Conjet 7 Tango Delta continues taxi on the bridge Juliet 1 via Papa Kilo Juliet. Juliet 1 via Papa Kilo Juliet 7 Tango Delta. Virgin 2 4 Tango continues taxi Papa Kilo Juliet, hold out for Juliet 1. Uh, Juliet 1 via Papa Kilo Juliet, Virgin 2 4 Tango. So we're going to be behind the uh, Alpha, Delta, the other 787 here taking off. Thompson 787 or 2E787. Right, after the aircraft okay, so it's me, telling me to stabilise a green band. Let's have a little look. Let's get the legs up on this side and uh, take off info on this side. Stabiliser should be 8.5, so it is out a little bit. I did mess with it. There we go, it's in. It'll go away once we start taking off. It'll have to. Okay, that's going to be us in a second as well, 118625. Oh, we've got some small traffic here at Manchester. You can see a tiny little plane in the distance there. It's so puny. General Aviation. One one eight six two five. Thanks for the cover. Speak to you next time. Virgin two for Tango. Golf Mike Alpha Romeo Charlie. Bye uh, Mike one. Line up and wait. Runway two two nine. Golf Romeo Charlie. Bye Mike one. Line up and wait. Two two right. Bit of British AV geek airlines there. Osprey. Oh, nice. How have you got that chance, Nicholas? That was a good one. Manchester Tower, good afternoon. Virgin 2 4 Tango on Juliet for Juliet 1. Virgin 2 4 Tango on Manchester Tower, good morning. Continue holding point for Juliet 1. It's not morning, it's afternoon. Continue hold point, Juliet 1, uh, Virgin 2 for Tango. Watch Tower, good afternoon, Tomjet 7, Tango Delta, hold it, Juliet 1. Tomjet 7, Tango Delta, hold Juliet 1. Hold Juliet 1, 7, Tango Delta. Let me get that little tiny plane. Alpha Golf Golf, contact match for ground, 121.850. Okay, so information for Frankfurt at the moment. Frankfurt is very busy today. It's got an overload event on uh, on Vatsim. Uh, it's very busy on the ground, not so busy on incoming Alpha traffic just yet. So I'm hoping we can get there. Hoping we can get there before it does get too busy in the skies above Frankfurt because I don't like performing holds. Um, but we'll see how we go. It means it's going to be fully covered so from approach down to tower, down to ground and obviously delivery as well. 
so we should have that sim cover through through the, like Alpha Romeo, through the Charlie afternoon, so it'll be there power. when we get there, which is good news, because it's been a while since we've had reliable cover uh, whilst landing. We've also got area control in Germany as well, so uh, Free France currently not um, not covered, uh, but Germany is covered, so we'll have that sim once we get Project across the continent. Seven Tango oh, Delta France has just come on line, Paris control. Line. Uh, so, we may have that. I'll have a look at the route once we're up in the sky. Uh, we may be passing through Paris control into Germany, we'll see. As you can see for Tango, uh, short delay uh, in number two. Virgin T4 Tango acknowledged. That's nice. Hey, connections there, Nicholas. Nice. I wish I had those kind of connections. I don't think I know any pilots. Not personally, anyway. Okay, Jordan. Or Barkus. Talk to me. Stab green band. I take that as being that. I am in the green band. Why is it still warning me? How can I get rid of that? Anyone know? Okay, let's... Uh, I'm pretty sure they're all mic, but we're going to arm them anyway. Let's have another look here. 7879... Beautiful aircraft by Horizon Sim. This is a final look before we get on the runway. We spool up those engines to go. There's going to be a delay because there's a general aviation just taken off, so obviously that's a little bit slower than the jet engine. Um, so we're going to have to just wait here momentarily. While we're doing that, let's have a little look with the flaps all the way down spoilers up Got Mike Alpha, Romeo Charlie, no further ATT, monitor Unicorn 122, that's the left so flaps full deployed there Got Mike Romeo Charlie, say again oh no, it's still going, it's still Romeo going Charlie, come on into Unicorn 122, that's the left one of Unicorn 123, that's the left fantastic There it is. Flap sends all the way down to the Okay, nearly forgot again. I always forget the lights. This is why I can't be a pilot. Always forget the lights. Okay, but not this time. Takeoff, strobe, and landing lights. Sorted. I don't know if anyone's inbound at the moment. We might have a little uh, delay. Oh, we've got a 748 inbound. All Nippon Airways. He's quite a while away, though. We, he's not going to affect us. Maximum approach to the AFM for clearing at 5,000 feet. Um, request. Approach clearing for landing 22 degrees. Right. On Nippon 747, Master Tower. Hello again. Uh, report established. Our lander right. to Hagada. Nice. Uh, Victor, it's it's really nice, mate. It's really nice. It's um it's been very smooth so far. Admittedly, I've, I've, only flown, um, I've only flown I've only flown a very small leg so far. This is going to be my full test. Virgin two four tango line up eight runway two three right. Line up eight two three right. Virgin two four tango. But uh, so far, mate, everything's good. The performance is fine. I'm not getting stutters currently. Um, I do have quite a high end system. Um, so we're stutter free and like I say on the ground handles really nicely in the air it does handle nicely as well we're, we're going to go VNAV for takeoff here so you'll see you'll see a nice uh, uh, example of their VNAV working as basic as possible because I am a very basic pilot I'm not a pilot very basic sim pilot
but yeah, it's good. I mean, it's a free aircraft as well. Absolutely, highly recommend it, as always, uh, with Horizon mods. The uh, other one I use is the... Uh We're away now. Now, as I say, there is a bug uh, at the moment with takeoff where the, the, the nose wheel feels heavy and if you pull against it, you'll tail strike. So we're going to let it drift for a little bit longer than we would normally if we've got runway left, that is. That's V1. We'll keep going a bit more. Feel that lift. Nice and slow. There we go. It does feel heavy. Look at those wings, beautiful. Over to AP. VNAV has it. Virgin 2 for Tango, passing 1,800. Virgin 2 for Tango, thank you. Uh, no further ATC, Unicorn 122, decimal 8, I'm just like. 122, thanks for the cover. Bye bye, Virgin 2 for Tango. On the bond 747, runway 23 right clear to land, surface wind 300 degrees 6 knots. Okay, we'll get 10,000 uh, 10, plugged in. Flaps up, should have been up a little bit sooner, but they're up now. Beautiful. She comes again, nice turn coming in. There's a beautiful screenshot going on Volanta. Fantastic, okay. So we have plugged in 10,000 on the VNAV. You can see VNAV still active there. It's going to take us up to the 10. Once I get to the 10, I'll look to increase it more, but obviously that's Max the uh, tower, Lufthansa, four that's four the golden Charlie, number. Uh, established two, three, right, 10 miles out. That's the golden number for uh, seatbelts off, lights off, certainly here in the UK. Over to standard barometer, it's coming up. Get that up a little bit further. 41,000 we are going to be cruising at today. And in a second, we'll go through the uh, the flight plan via Navigraph charts. So straight up to 41,000. Because we've got no ATC cover currently, so we're going to absolutely mug off the uh, departure process. Bust through all the uh, constraints. And just get out there. Up to 41,000. Cruising altitude. Cruise speed. Get ourselves to Germany. Landing lights off. Logo off. And seatbelts off I'm going to call the cabin for a coffee as well just checking this it seems to slow rate of climb of, uh, uh, the rate of climb has really come down now increasing the speed once we're there we'll see how fast it goes don't want it to climb too fast obviously which is probably going to do initially it'll jump up to about four or five thousand and then it should come back down to a reasonable amount there we go it's coming back down fantastic i'm happy with that okay let's have a little look at the plan So, I'll go through the actual the actual flight plan on uh, Navigraph charts. So what I want to check is this this looks all right. I probably should have done it on the ground, but I'm going to do it here. So this will be into Germany here. Conan, Cock, Fernie. Uh, so 
I got. I'll get that sword in a second. There's obviously drinks on me. There's always drinks on me, isn't there? Okay, here we go. So, you see the blue there? That is the go-around procedure. Fantastic. And this is our approach procedure. There's Frankfurt there. So we're going to be flying in. Oh, vectors from there. Yeah, it will be vectors, so that's not wrong. However, from 416, just in case, I know there will be vectors, but just in case, I'm going to get rid of vectors there and type Delta Foxtrot 426. And then I'm going to. So that's going to go round like that. Let's have a look. Yeah, that'll do it. Perfect. Okay. We will get vectors from there. I'm absolutely positive of that. Um, because Vatsim is online. Let's go back to the map. Okay, so we're doing it. Ladies and gentlemen, this is your captain speaking. Drinks are on me this flight, so uh, enjoy yourselves and uh, don't get too drunk. There we go. You've got it. You've got it, Nicholas. I had to put in a pilot voice as well, obviously. Right, let's have a look at... the flight plan. So you can see it across the world, get a bit of an idea of what we're actually doing here. Okay, charts wise then. It's going to be a little bit buggy, but we've just... So this is what I use to taxi. Uh, this is Navigraph charts. Um, I also have it on my desktop and it comes up on my second monitor. We were here and we taxied through this way, down this way, down that way. Juliet 1 was our holding point there, onto the runway, and we've taken off. That chart is now used. Samba 1 Romeo, we're just about passed out of Samba, so we took off, 2-3 right, came around there, bank into the left, and we've passed Samba now, chart used. No more need for those charts for takeoff. What you can see now is, just ignore these lines, not sure about that. Uh, we are on this trajectory here next uh, waypoint being Honolulu, and that's going to bring us down through towards London out through Dover just passing into French control uh, very uh, briefly Conan there being France I said it was Germany it's definitely not from there into Belgium control so Brussels past Brussels there making our way towards Germany where we cross over the border into Germany here and then start our descent in towards Frankfurt as you can see this is the route we're taking Onoko 4 Alpha into Frankfurt ILS Yankee runway 25 I'll make sure we get 25 because I don't want to start messing about 25 being this runway here we'll then be taxiing around probably parking around here somewhere yeah it's gonna be a good flight we've got a bit of weather on uh, on route uh, not sure if it's all the way up to us but it's certainly showing on Volanta that we've got rain uh, in the south of the UK and north of France got an aircraft ahead of us here that's probably that Tom jet let's have a little look Yes, it is. He's going to Ibiza. He's a thousand ahead, above us at the moment. Can't quite make him out through the cloud. Now, I'm not sure if these are storm clouds here. I'm going to leave the seatbelt sign off for now. But we'll, uh, we'll see if it gets bumpy. If we need to get some... Uh, get the seatbelts on temporarily and get the passengers sat back down okay so I've got a little bit of time to read now so the bark is said sub the FMC leave out the takeoff calculations and flaps enter the CG altimeter then head over to the EFB and hit initialize
Okay. So I don't fill... Do I fill any of that out? If you have your weight and balance set up correctly alongside your FMC data program, it will automatically add itself by clicking copy FMC data. That's from Jordan. Okay. Well, I'm going to I'm going to leave that. I'm not going to click anything else on here because I don't want to screw my flight up now. So I'm sure it won't, but you never know. Very cloudy. Let's have a little look outside. Absolutely beautiful. These liveries are done really well as well. Look at all these little signs. Danger everywhere. The whole thing's danger. So from within the aircraft, the wind is displayed here, top left. Uh, but that can just shoot up. You know, we eventually weather data will be in, so we can have weather displayed on the screen. It'll tell you what altitude and how bad the weather's going to be. Um, but as you can see here, so this is saying we've got from zero zero four uh, degrees, so behind us, almost north. There's a 22 knot wind, so a bit of a, a tailwind that'll push us off slightly. You can see the arrow there. That's that's how the aircraft is having to adjust off center. This being center here, it's adjusted off center to keep us straight. Um, so we're about what's that? About five degrees off center there to to compensate that 20 knot uh, tailwind. The weather does not look good up here. I tell you that. I tell you that. Now obviously we can hit uh, vertical speed and get up to 41,000 as quick as we wanted to, but I'm not going to do that. Um, we're going to stay in the VNAV climb. Currently at 300, uh, 300 knot uh, Mach decimal 78. And speed wise, uh, as we get to cruising altitude, I'll see what speed we're at. It probably won't improve that much, so if I can take it any higher myself, I will do indeed. Jordan, you get a peach for that Qantas livery. It looks, it looks very nice on the plane itself. Lin Lin, that's a, a very good question. It, uh, no release date just yet, but you can you can uh, rest assured that it's going to be very soon. So, the the idea of releasing it to the content creators is to to preview everyone, wet everybody's appetite a bit, show everybody what's coming, and also to do a bit of a bug, uh, a bug sort of spree so they're, they're just they're just looking for any bugs that are identified by the streamers they'll quash those bugs they'll sort them out there's a couple that have been identified already on on the the, the two days that it's been available to content creators and um and pretty soon it will be released you can rest assured of that Yeah, Nicholas, it's, it's true. So, um, obviously, if you've got a heavy headwind, it's not 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 a problem if you've got a tailwind. It pushes you faster. But if you've got a heavy headwind, you, you want to change altitude um, to get out of there. So, and it allows you to then go fly quicker or, or avoid the wind to, to have better fuel economy. You can get that information from... Um, from Simbrief, once you do your Simbrief profile, you have the OFP, which has wind information on there at different altitudes. Um, 
but all that is subject to change anyway so you just I mean certainly in the sim you just have to kind of see when you get there what the wind's like and you can ask about sim controllers to change your altitude that's absolutely fine I've done it before myself depending if it's an issue or not uh, what else we got M. Ferdows 80 um, you you will be able to get this 789 from Horizon Simulations it's completely free uh, but it is not out yet it's coming out soon very soon um, but it's not out yet this is a preview Horizon Simulations have a discord server a lot of their stuff is available on flightsim.to so I, I wouldn't be surprised if it's on there um, when it does come out but at the moment it is just a early access sneak peek at this aircraft it will be out very soon though and something that I used to think as well what is the benefit of having a 787 8, 9 and 10 because to some people they're all the same aircraft well for one they're all different sizes okay second of all the 787 10 this is the biggest one for me the 787 10 is the least used variant of the 787 so to have that as the only option in sim when it first came out it, it was it was a bit disappointing to say the least because none of the carriers that I fly I like to fly that fly from the UK fly the 78710 they all fly the 788 and the 789 um, so to then have a 788 from Kuro it's fantastic worked on by Horizon Sim they really helped out and now the 7879 is on its way which is, is probably the more widely used variant of the 787. 788 is smaller than the 789, but the 789 is, is very widely used, especially here in the UK and, and in Europe as a whole. Uh, so it's good to see this aircraft in the sim, finally. A variant that is used by many carriers. And just look at it, it's beautiful as well. Well put together. All we need now is a cabin. That's all we need. So let's have a little look again. Night sky for those of you that missed it. We'll get some lights here. Look at that. No barrel rolls, Nicholas. No barrel rolls. We're on vats in, my friend. We can't afford to do stuff like that. There's the logo. Beautiful. Rear strobe there. Yeah, I don't blame you, Lin Lin. When, when I, I saw I had the opportunity to fly it as an early access, I was over the moon. Don't, don't get me wrong. Cockpit lights. Let's have a little look. Nice. A little too bright for me. I'd turn all that down if we were flying at night. Okay, that one zero zero is lining up to certain right at Heathrow. Uh, let's just sort the weather out again. In real time. There it is. So VATSIM is the uh, ATC program that is, well, program. How do we describe VATSIM? It's not a program, is it? It's, it's a community, is it? It's a community. So VATSIM basically have people acting as controllers and they'll go through real procedures and they also have people acting as pilots like myself and we'll go through procedures flying as best as we can. 
Um, the controllers often know a lot more than the pilots do, unfortunately. Uh, but it allows you to have live ATC to a good standard for a change. Now, at the moment, I'm not in a. I'm not on a control in a controlled area, so I'm on what's called Unicom, which is a universal. Um, basically a universal channel because there's no Vatsim controller in this area. Uh, Mo, so a different month, let's have a little look then, shall we? Hey, Do you want to say inside, to inside the copper? Control. Let's have a look. So we'll... Do, we'll uh... That's a good point, I never really considered that. The, the, the timing of the year, so let's go. Let's go July, with the sun there, a bit of sun in the cockpit, the sun's still going to be behind us because we are, we are sort of making our way um, east now, and we'll pass that point, we'll move the sun in a second, but yeah, there we go, look at that. Let's go to a bit earlier in the day. There we go. Let's try and get some sunrise, shall we? Oh no, oh no, oh no. Oh, I thought that was it. I thought that was the end of the stream then. Okay, there we go. So we've got a bit of sun in this side. Coming through the window there. And there you can see it again. So you can see the, you know, the... the win as you'd expect, obviously. I say that, but it's not always the case, as we know. It's definitely not always the case. Probably a better view from here. Look at this. The movement of the sun with the movement of the aircraft. Shadows off the windows. Look at the difference. Fantastic. Traffic, don't just minor two six Papa, heavy taxing to I mean two six left for in place. Looking oh, good. Long, like Looking uh, good mate. Papa. I take it did you did you work on the textures my friend? Getting a bit jumpy, right? I'm gonna gonna set this back to live time, and then get rid of that. I've got a few stutters there as we're running through, probably because I made so many adjustments. We're all good now, though. Okay, forty-one thousand here, cruising altitude. <laughs> okay. We have 40 minute time to go. Nice. We're nice and high up. We should be near London at the moment. I'm getting a lot of London traffic on the, uh, yeah. So we're just east of London. So let's have a little look.
Yeah, I know what you mean. If you catch it in the right light, it's perfect. I do, I do like to try and do a morning and evening flight to get those uh, those sunset and sunrise textures in the cockpit as well. But can a guide on a PFD become a cross guide? What do you mean by that, Lynn? I'm, I'm I'm not too sure what you mean by that, unfortunately. Can you put that in simpler terms for someone like me? I might be able to help you out. Or if not, if one of the devs is here, maybe they'll be able to help you out. So this is where we are at the moment. We are nice and uh, to the east of uh, London now. Near Kent Way, heading towards Dover. Out of the UK soon into Brussels and then making our way through to Germany from Brussels. A little bit of chop, not too much. Let's uh Let's get the speed up just a little bit here. Listen to those engines go up again. Beautiful. So you can see the wind affecting us here. We're getting a little bit of sway side to side. Aircraft's handling it nicely. Yeah, Lufthansa's on the list, absolutely. So. They have, I believe, have they released the list of liveries? I don't think they have. Um, the features, though, you can see in the description of the video, so the features that they've added and created. So this is just a, a, an early doors feature list. It's not e extensive, um, but they've they've worked on a lot. They've worked, the, you know, the flight model, fuel flow, taxi model, idle thrust. It's all in there. You know, they, they've really put a lot of hours, a lot of time into this, and they're very proud of it, and rightly so as well. Rightly so. There is a, a, a huge... There's a huge... Um, livery pack available that will be available to download with the uh, with the aircraft hopefully they'll make some individual liveries available because they're not all for me we're getting a bit bumpy so I'm gonna put the uh, gonna put the seatbelt sign on here thanks for the sub Nicholas appreciate you buddy welcome to uh, YouTube as well as Facebook my friend we are streaming on YouTube and Facebook today um, so Yeah, so the, the large livery pack available, many liveries come with the aircraft, and uh, you won't be disappointed. There's something for everyone in there. I think let's let's have a look, a little look myself. So in seven eight seven nine, so you get the livery pack as well. I've deleted some of them because. Personally, I didn't. Um, I didn't want all the liveries that they provided. I can't remember how many there, but I've kept. I think around seven of them. Two, four, six, eight, nine. Nine of them, so I've kept. But there was loads. There was over twenty, and. Um, yeah, there you go. So Jordan's currently working on a livery right now. There you go. So around 30 liveries. Jordan, one question I do have is for those of us that don't like to install everything as a package. So I'm, I'm very picky with my liveries. Um, I would like them on an individual basis. I know that's a bit more work, but I'd like to be able to select my liveries individually to download rather than download the whole lot and then have to delete 
part of the folder or I could download them all but then only have to install some of them okay that's good that's that's what I want to know because that's that's quite important for me um, although it's not going to stop me using the aircraft obviously it's a fantastic aircraft uh, but I'm very picky with my liveries and I don't like having a folder just full of liveries I like I like to be very conservative with it but yeah if you're after the features list guys the features list is on the description of this video uh, whether you're watching on Facebook or YouTube it should be there below uh, if not jump over to YouTube because it's definitely on YouTube um, and you can have a little look through the features other than that the features list is on the horizon sim discord uh, make sure you get yourselves on there that will be your quickest route to finding out when this aircraft is released horizon sim discord and you'll be told exactly where to download it and when on there so get yourselves over there okay let's push it a little bit further right onto the limit I'm happy that the uh, turbulence has died down enough still at 41,000 here I'm gonna have a little look what I need to be at soonest Unoko is 11,000 is the Todd in there that's the question yes it is okay so I might try uh, the nav descent is that a thing Jordan let's have a look Flight model, model, lights, cockpit. Fantastic. In that case, then, we'll leave the uh, altitude down at 11,000 and we'll look to set VNAV as we get a bit closer. In fact, no, we won't. We'll leave, leave that up there at 41. It is possible to use the hood, absolutely. You ready? There's the hood. Now, the positioning of the hood is another thing. Okay, I'm getting a lot of... A lot of squawking going on here. So... Trying to find the right position is difficult because of my camera settings. But if I... Sod it. I'm happy with the position of the cockpit at the moment. I don't want to screw it up, but I can zoom in like that. Worst case. And I'll set that as number two. Yeah, I mean, worst case, there's one. And then if I really want to use the HUD, zoom in two. I can zoom in a little bit more if I wanted to get that full view. Give me a, a, a landing profile there. Bit of a stutter there. But we are on uh, 2K Ultra and streaming in uh, 1080p as well, so what do you expect? Reflections, reflections, what have we got? What can we notice in these reflections? That's interesting. I remember early days, the reflections were all screwed up in the planes. Uh, when, the f when the plane first came out, all reflections had a reflection of like a pilot in a small aircraft. It was a really strange one. I'm guessing they've, they've sort of took that and fixed it all now, because that kind of looks like the cockpit, but it does look like we're on the ground. If it ain't Boeing, I ain't going. Yep, 
Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm on the most recent uh, build. I checked the uh, content channel. Content creators channel anyway, to, to make sure. So, fingers crossed. Getting a little bit of wobble, not much. 25 knot crosswind there. Oh, up to 30 gusting. Yeah, I think so. I used to... So, I've, I've not really got a massive preference um, otherwise than what's in the sim. And, and because the Airbus options in the sim ain't that great at the moment, um, A330 is okay from uh, headwind. But uh, the, the PMDG 737 and certainly now the 787, most beautiful aircraft in the sim. Yeah, Boeing's, Boeing's winning it at the moment. However, fly-by-wire are working on the A380. That's going to be a that's going to be a crowd pleaser. Let's put it that way. When it comes out, though, and that that is anyone's guest, guest, guess. We are getting a bit turbulent. So let's let's go for it. You don't want people going to the toilet and standing up when uh, turbulence is like that. It'd be a right mess. So we'll get everyone sat down. That's a good question. So. If, have, have you been following Horizons news recently um, in terms of the, the LVFR palaver? What's happened with LVFR? Because LVFR have actually released an A330 and are releasing an A340 very soon. But they've cut out, completely cut out, uh, third, let's say third party, other developers. You're making an F, Jordan. Beautiful. Now, for me, this is this is probably the worst news to hear because I absolutely love the A340. Absolutely love it. And I really was hoping we were going to get a good one. And I can guarantee with LVFR it's probably not going to be a good one. Um, and it was it was going to be basically required to be fixed and Horizon would have been able to do that but unfortunately Horizon have been shut out of future LVFR projects as have other modders it's not just Horizon um, so we'll see what happens with that but a, 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 a freight version of the uh, 747, that's fantastic. And is it going to have... Is it going to have a uh, working cargo hold? And when I say working, I mean you can see the cargo hold. Yes. Good. That's what we want. Oh, that's going to be so popular. Like that is that is on the there's no freighters at the moment. Absolutely none. That's fantastic. Are they on the previews? I don't know how I missed that. How long ago? Let's have a look. Seven, four, eight. So 
747. Ah, progress, okay. Is it recent? Oh, there's the list of the 789 liveries as well. Oh my god, how did I miss that? That's amazing. That looks absolutely fantastic. Hey Riley, how's it going? Okay, let's have a look how far we are from the Todd here. Now it's saying Onoko 11,000, so definitely isn't going to be 41,000 at Pipep, is it? So that's a 30,000 difference. 90 miles away as a minimum is the descent so in Oko says the 30 there another 30 60 yeah okay so about Remba we're going to be descending so let's get this in here now go a little bit below VNAV engaged it's going to slow us down uh, Jordan will be able to tell you I'm sure so I'm expecting to descend at or just after Remba if it doesn't descend after Remba then I'm going to have to manually descend it we're on VNAV path at the moment. Let's see if it changes soon. It should be soon. We'll keep an eye on it. Should be descending momentarily. Starting our way down to uh, Frankfurt. We got a lot of controllers online. 54 aircraft on the ground at Frankfurt waiting to take off with 14 landed. It's busy. It is busy. There's so many aircraft inbound. We are going to be holding, I think. Let's get a little uh, look at the hold. So, Unoko well, most likely being the hold. There is a second hold as well, uh, potential, but we, we aren't on that route, so maybe we'll get sent over there, we'll see. But Onoko's set as the hold at the moment, worst case. Uh, on that sim, Riley. We have cover over Germany. We will um, we will have cover once we get into Germany anyway. I'm going to let it go to SPI. If we've not descended by SPI, we're going to have to do some drastic descents. But it should be armed. It should be armed. Let's have a little look. Descent profile in there, yeah, it's expecting on Oko at 11,000, so it should be alright. going to give it its chance. As far as I know, that's all I need to do. 
VNAV armed. Altitude is set below. Yeah, as long as everything's set up, so it's 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 correct there, but it looks like it's. Um, Looks like it might have missed this VNAV descent. I don't know if I've done something wrong. I'm going to set descent now. Hopefully we will be uh, <laughs> Yeah, my plan B is hitting descend now It definitely should have descended I think Have we got a line right let's go over to vertical speed this will hopefully show us where we're going to be 2200 about the speed I want to be descending at really don't think it's going to be enough. We missed the descent. Let's go 2,400. Seatbelt signs already on to Sodom. They've been sat down for a while. I'll give him a, a quick chance. Right, ladies and gentlemen. Whoa! That was close. Okay, I've got a message. One three three four three five. Who is this? E D G G. Rid Center. He is Langan Radar. Tango radar, good afternoon, uh, Virgin 24 Tango descending through uh, 360. 24 Tango radar, contact to all. Tit Unoko for Alpha arrival, descend level 250. Unoko for Alpha arrival, descending 240, uh, Virgin 24 Tango. Lange radar, Lodi, look to the track. I think you said 250, actually. To my cover radar, contact to all. Tit Unoko for Alpha arrival, descend flight level 250. Yeah. Down to 250. Clear to Noko for Alpha Arrival, descending flat over 250, Luft to the track bar. Let's have a little look what it was. Quite far out at the moment. I was not expecting that. It came out of nowhere. Down to my cover on conversion speed 290 on Oxford Crater. Funnily enough, he's, 290 he's not showing up at all. Unless it was, in fact, yeah, it was a 767. Heavy British Airways coming out of Frankfurt to Heathrow. 290 or less, Virgin 24 Tango. Might need a bit of drag for this. Yeah, let's get a bit of drag in there. Oh, the shadows. Possibly, yeah. Direct drama up and descend to reach flight level 110 at drama up and to recover. Okay. Let's keep 
this range nice and uh, low, 20 miles, good range. On this one we'll have it a bit bigger, 30 miles there. Okay, let's have a look, descent and V reference needs to be set. Don't really need to worry about that, to be honest, because it's on the approach, which is fine, so we'll just get it up on there, there it is. In fact, we'll do it on this one. And then we'll have the legs on this one for now. V reference set, auto brake set, let's set auto brake to two, that'll do. Minimums to be set. Minimums are uh, 551. Have I forgot where the minimums knob is? Yes, yes I have. Oh, there it is. It's right in my face. Look at this. Mins. Minimums. It's right there. Tiny click spot again. Need to get those bigger click spots. Oh my god, I can't click it. Oh, that's too much. I can't zoom out. Stop it. I can't find the click spot there. 551. 2, 3, there it was. Down to 110, Virgin 2 for Tango. Flight speed should be less than that as well. Before he gets mad. I've not had a good run with German controllers on uh, Vassin. What? I know the speed brake's extended. I like them, they don't like me. Right, what are we on? 580, we're nearly there. Still trying to set minimums. There we go. Yeah, I don't know, I'm, I'm not getting lagged, my friend, so I don't know. <laughs> it doesn't look like the stream's lagging. Who knows? Right, seatbelts are on, that's fine. Auto brake set, barrow to be set later, flaps and speed brake, and that's it. That's, that's all that's on my checklist, so we're good. We're good here. Keep this vertical speed going. 2,400 down to 11,000 feet. Du, du, du. Direct ram of uh, Virgin 2 for Tango. Nice, I think we've been pulled ahead in the uh, approach here. <coughs> Okay, mate. Hopefully it's sorted then. Like radar left hands at two kilo. Ah, oh, my ears. Why are you so loud? No. Oh. oh. These click spots, man, they're getting me. I can't wait until there's some sort of like cheap heading system. I'll be buying that. Like a radar, left hand at two kilo. So there's two kilo long, hello, get a contact. Keep that proceed direct the ram up. After ram up, follow Unoko for Alpha Rival. Proceed direct the ram up and then follow the ram up for Alpha Rival, left hand at two kilo. Now, Brad. So actually, one zero nine seven five. Check is right. Happy with that. Uh, sorry, say again. 
Ja, so die Arrival ist Unoko vor Alpha, and Drama is the point of the Arrival. Was will Prozid to Rama, but just got damit die Unoko vor Alpha Arrival. Yeah, we have, yeah, I understand. So the Anuku for Alpha arrive on and then proceed direct to Ramon. The standard tequila. Correct. Yeah, same, mate. I, uh... I always... I have my volume high, oh my God, always gets me. Some people are so quiet on Vatsim though, and some of them are so loud. Okay, so we are descending now down to 11,000. We're on, on the approach into uh, Frankfurt here. Quite busy. I say quite. There are 42 aircraft on the ground waiting to take off, and a load in the sky waiting to land. So I'm not sure weather we're going to be. I can see one, two, three, four, five, six currently uh, currently lined up. I need to make sure we get 2-5 right. We are still on standard. There's a lot of aircraft in the sky around here. You can see three. Three there. That's more than normal. And and honestly, if you have a look on if you if you know what Vaspy is or Volanta, if you have a look on there at the VAT traffic. There are a lot of aircraft in this sector right now. We are going to be busy. Descent flight level 110 left by Ramon. Descent flight level 110 left by Ramon, Lufthansa 2 Kilo. Descent flight level 110805, Chus. 120-805, thanks for the cover, Chus. I should have said my call sign as well. Nine hold the mic, direct uh, Ram up after Ram up for Unoko for Alpha Rival. Just check that, 120805, yeah. Frankfurt arrival, good afternoon, uh, Virgin 24 Tango descending to 110. Four Tango, hello. Whoa. What did he say? Oh, I've got to turn this guy down, he's so loud. Four thousand five hundred? Blow my ears. Negative 1500, okay. Oh, mate. 1500 and, uh, QNH. You don't need a QNH. <laughs> you said descent altitude 1500? Yeah, he did say 1500. You're right. <laughs> Okay, I, I mean, I, I, I can't be the only one that's not understanding this guy. Wow.
Okay, so we're at 11,000. Uh, let's get up to 290, because it was 290 or less. Let's keep the speed up a little bit. By the way, if you're expecting butter, guys, you can forget about it. I've not flown an aircraft this big for a long time, so <laughs> this is, I'm going to slam into the deck so hard. It's going to be so hard. Just so you know. But at least I'm honest, yeah? That's the main thing. Honesty is the best course of action. That's just cruel. What's that? Loading symbols. Is that because you're uh, lagging, is it? Do you not mistake taxiway mic for runway 25 center when performing visual approach. Transition level 7000. Wind 210 at 15. Oh. We gonna get it. It's gonna hit us. Okay, hopefully we'll get to send soon, so you can probably see some aircraft taking off on path here ahead of us. There's a Condor, A319 just took off. He's currently turned south, so he's facing that way. There he is, I think, maybe. Could be. No, we're a little further out than that. That's an Air France. Never mind. Yeah, it's um God, it's killing me. Yeah, it's really good. It's really well done. It's gonna be released very soon. Oh Riley, this is a Ryanair landing. All the all day. All day, mate. I've not I've not flown an aircraft this big for a long time, so it's uh, it's gonna be hard. I'll try and glide it a little bit, but nah, don't expect much. Ooh. Is that aircraft above us? What's going on there? Okay, he's climbing towards. He's climbing very slow. It looks like almost as though he's frozen in the sky. Why is he not showing up there? Uh, was that ILS 25 left? Sorry. Uh, is there any way we could have 25 right or not, uh, Virgin 2 for Tango? It will be a longer taxi time, that's why I give it for left. Uh, that's, that's fine, I've got it set up for 25 right already. Also, I don't expect that. Thank you very much, 25 right, Virgin 2 for Tango. Okay, there we go. So we are going to be landing 25 right. We've got a nice long taxi from there. This guy's mic isn't very clear. He's, he's very robotic. It's really getting me. Really getting me. Papa will speed to 20 knots, turn left 5 degrees. It is speed to 20 knots and turning left 5 degrees. Papa. We're 
We're still at 11,000. I'm wondering if we're going to have 127280. Anytime soon. I'm going to reduce speed a bit. 280. I'll go 270 actually. Virgin 2 for Tango, reduce speed to 570. That's 250 knots, uh, Virgin 2 for Tango. Okay, there we go. So. Roger, that's my Papa, direct up 127280. Can you speak the repeat if we can see that to make cover? 127280. 127280, follow the to make cover. Feedback to you. What are you putting on? 127800. I think you're putting on there. 127280. That's what I'm going on to. For Tango, descent flight level 80. That's flight level 80, Virgin 2 for Tango. That's alright, mate. I'm going to have to go eat after this stream. I'm absolutely starving, my friend. Yeah, he does sound like a robot, doesn't he? Uh, I think it's his mic, though. 127280. Next frequency queued up. What? What now? I know it's extended. I've extended it. Talk to me, Jordan. What did you have? Uh, say speed again, please. Down to 220 knots, Virgin 2 for time. Because I'm encroaching on. Two kilo, all the same. Kiran, we're too far away. From the two kilo, all the same. Kiran, we're too far away. Nice. Nice. I've got some. I've got some macaroni cheese for later. Oh, your microphone is really crap. All the Yankee two five right left hand and two kilo. That guy told him. Virgin 25 Tango, contact Erika 127-280. Over to 127-280, Virgin 24 Tango. Thanks for the cover, bye bye. <laughs> he just told him straight, your mic sounds really crap. <laughs> That's brilliant. I mean, I didn't want to be that rude, but yeah, I suppose you've got to sometimes. Frankfurt Director, good afternoon, uh, Virgin 2 for Tango. Virgin 2 for Tango, head on. Just to the 2 mic cover turn right, heading 100. Right, heading 100. Now Just I have to turn this guy up. Virgin 2 for Tango, descend 5000 feet, TNH, triple liner. Uh, down to 5000 feet and QNH, triple liner, Virgin 2 for Tango. Yeah, I know. I mean, I kind of feel bad for me because he destroyed my ears and I couldn't understand what he was saying a lot of the time. Um, but, yeah, I do feel bad for him because he just went quiet. Your mic's really crap. Complete silence. Like, no comeback at all. He's just like, okay. <laughs> Never mind. Oh, no, come on, come on, come on. Click spots again, getting me. There we go, triple niner, Q and H. The 449 speed 170 on us, all greater and his five miles final. 170 or greater and his five miles final. Checklist incomplete. Checklist over, right? 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 Chec
There we go. I don't want that warning again. Okay, we have... And it flaps 10. Keep us nice and slow. We're going to be doing a right turn very soon, I'd imagine. And we'll be looking to capture that ILS. That'll be arm in approach. Jordan, you missed it. Two for single turn right heading 100. Right heading 100, Virgin 2 for Tango. So, Jordan, there was uh, an issue with the VNAV. It didn't descend. I don't know why. Um, it may have been me. It's probably me. Let's go down to 200 knots. Yeah, I couldn't, um... Virgin 2 for Tango, turn right heading 180. Right heading 180, Virgin 2 for Tango. That's in the 2 Mike Papa, reduce speed 180 knots. Reducing speed 180 knots, just in the 25. These click spots are very small, Jordan, as well. Direct to lift down to 2 kilo. Just in the 2 kilo, head Keep on. zooming in and out. I don't know if that's an MSFS problem or, uh... Virgin 2 for Tango, reduce speed 180 knots. Down to 180 knots, Virgin 2 for Tango some speed brakes on because I think they want me to re reduce immediately. Oh, that aircraft is right in front of me there. Yeah, I didn't think so. Yeah, so so VNAV descent, I had, I'll had. i tell you what I did. I, the approach page was set up as it was. I, I didn't really change anything on that. It was set to... Two for Tango, turn right, heading 220, clear that at Yankee 255. Maintain 180 for now. Right heading 220 for ILS Yankee 25 right and we'll maintain 180 for now, uh, Virgin 2 for Tango. Approach arms. Let's get some more flaps on. Okay, so we're we'll going to flap 17. Yeah, we're going to flap 17. Flap 17. Maintain until 5 miles time. 170 until 5 DME, uh, Virgin 2 for Tango. This is a 2 kilo descent, fly level 7 mil. Okay, I should fly have. Fly level 7 zero, lift down to 2 kilo. Put the lights on now, but I didn't. They're on now. And let's just give the cabin a chime, tell them to sit down. Localizer captured. Reducing speed 170 on Glide slope's a little bit above at the moment, so no issues there. And this is the moment I've been waiting for. Beautiful, look at that tail. Oh, there she is. Fantastic. Are you ready for this Ryanair landing? Are you ready? This is a 2 kilo turn right heading 160. Turn right heading 160, lift down to 2 kilo. This is a 2 kilo descent 5000 feet, QNH 999. Descent 5000, triple nine, lift down to 2 kilo. Don't know this what. This is a 2 Mike Papa, contact tower, 136 decimal 52. 136 decimal 5. I believe, let's have a look. Tower. 1365, yeah, there we go. So Tower North, that's what we're going on to. Flaps a bit more. Flaps 20. Is it 20? Kilo turn right, heading 220, clear to IDAS Yankee 255. Radio speed 220. And we are 170 until 5. Turn right, heading 220, clear to ILS Yankee 25, right, reduce speed 220 knots, lift down to 2 kilo. Screenshot there. Love it. Oh yeah, here we go. It is busy. It is busy. Right there. there are going to be stutters, guys. It's so busy here at the moment. Version two for Tango. Contact tower. One three six decimal five two. One three six decimal five. Thanks for the cover. Bye bye. Version two for Tango. Okay, there we go. Frankfurt Tower. Good afternoon. Version two for Tango. Established two five right. Version two for Tango. Greetings, afternoon. Okay, so we're maintaining speed until 5 DME. There's 5. 
Let's make it there. Then we're going to have to reduce speed. I'm going to land about 140 knots. Okay, I'm going to get rid of... Is that to my confirm you are reducing further? No, I'm not. I'm going to leave fly live there. Roger, to my cover. Oh dear. I think there's going to be a go around there. It looks like there's an aircraft on the runway and one lined up. I'm not too sure. I have control. This is where my rudder kills me because my rudder sensitivity is absolutely terrible because I'm using the T16000 and they can't get the rudder control right in this thing. I'm talking about my uh, joystick here. Slightest little movement I do absolutely kills the rudder. That's Frankfurt, look at that, beautiful, beautiful, coming to Frankfurt Airport. We are using third party Frankfurt as well, it is uh, completely free on flightsim.to. So for Nana, double left, down a bit. Shot off November 1 -1. We are November offline slightly. On the two Mike Papa, 210 degrees, 15 knots, so 25 right, clear to land. Right, I'm going to reduce speed. Clear to land to the right, look Papa, try cover. Five zero flaps full. Virgin two for Tango, say again. Virgin two for Tango, say again. Disregard. Virgin two for Tango, acknowledge. He's going to tell me to reduce speed, and I already had, I think. Okay, so. Spoilers armed. Don't think I needed to, but do it anyway. Nose up a bit. Nose up a bit more. Using my trim here. It is so busy here. Getting hit by some wind. It's going to be a Ryanair landing, guys. Do not expect anything else. Pleasant, pleasantly surprised if it won't be. That's that's the way I'm going about it. I have not flown a plane this big for a while. Oh, that wind's hitting me, and I'm getting stutters as well. That's from the airport. The airport's absolutely rammed with Vatsim traffic. Number two, my Papa, double left, Papa, hold shot off November 1-1. One, one. No, I'm not, left, a Papa, fan. Shot, not a one, fan one, of the hood, personally. Virgin 2 for Tango, 210 degrees, 15 knots, clear to land, 25 right. Clear to land, uh, 25 right, Virgin 2 for Tango. I don't do hoods. Frankfurt Tower, left down to 2 I kilo, should. ILS Yankee, 25 right. This is going to be. Kilo, hello. This is going to be Ryanair. Here it comes. And we're stuttering as well, so be ready for this. The four four nine on the bridge. Contact one two one seven five five. Minimums continue. Okay, we're a little bit high. Drifting. Yeah. I've just glided all the way down the runway here. There's a heavy landing. 281. Reverse thrust on. We're centre line though, I'm happy with that. <laughs> nice one, Riley. <laughs> yeah. 
you've arrived on another on-time Ryanair flight, pretty much. Or oh, break off. Get off this runway. I just want to do it quick because I know there's an aircraft behind. Tango, turn double left, Papa, hold short off November one one. Double left, Papa, hold short November one one. Uh, emergency for Tango. Delta two kilo two one zero degrees one five knots. Clear to land two five. Double nine. left. Okay, welcome to uh, Frankfurt. Two, left, two five right, left turn to two kilo. So, we are on the ground at Frankfurt now. Uh, this is custom Frankfurt. It's available on flightsim.to absolutely free. You'll get a good view of this airport as we go around. Highly recommend it. Um, very good, well put together airport. Now, I've been flying in the 7879 by Horizon Sim. It is not currently available. It is a preview of the aircraft that is coming very, very soon. If you guys want information on this aircraft, you need to be on the Horizon Sim Discord. I'm going to my papa on the bridge, one two one seven five five. Ciao. On where, they, um, where they are one providing one regular seven updates, seven updates seven seven and seven seven that seven is where the release seven. will be announced. So if you want to be notified when that release is happening, make sure you're on Horizon Sim Discord. That will tell you the download location as well. So, my verdict, absolutely fantastic as expected from Horizon Sim. The model's beautiful, it flies well, you know, the systems are working. There are a few bugs that are getting quashed as we speak, they're working on them right now. That's the whole point of this weekend, they're testing the aircraft out using the streamers on them. And, um, they're destroying the bugs as they find them. They're fixing the bugs as they find them, should I say, not destroying them. That's a bit, a bit military there, but, um, yeah, so... Absolutely anticipating the release of this aircraft final version. Can't wait for it. It's going to be fantastic. The one of the most popular aircraft available at the moment, certainly the liners in Europe, the 7879. It's certainly not an aircraft to be missed. Absolutely free, of course. You need the Prem Deluxe version of Microsoft Flight Sim, though, otherwise, you will not have the 787. So, I hope you did enjoy the stream, guys. I'm going to make my way to the gate. Uh, and the stream will continue until that point. But if you are watching and you haven't done so already, please follow or subscribe. And thank you very much for watching. And enjoy the rest of this stream. Yeah, maybe. I mean, you don't want a landing that's too soft because it destroys the wheels. But two, minus 280 feet per minute, that's a bit extreme, isn't it? We'll see, we'll see. Double left, Papa, hold off November 1 1. Double left onto a Lima hold short, Papa 1-1, one, one, left turn to 2 kilo. Negative, double left, Papa, hold short off, November 1-1. One, one. Double left on Papa, hold short, November 1-1, one, one, left turn to 2 Correct, listen to the note in mic, then 210 degrees, 15 knots, clear to okay. land, 259. So, after landing, speed brake and flaps are away, right, that's all sorted. Virgin 2 Tango, contact 1 one seven five five. good afternoon. one two one seven five five. choose Virgin 2 for Tango. Let's get that in there. Uh, one, two, one point seven five five. Bam. Bam. Quick before I miss the turn in, there it is. Ah, oh, there we go then. So there we go, it wasn't a bad landing after all. Uh, and that's from a pilot. Is this apron or ground? It's ground. Okay, I can get the APU started now. Frankfurt ground, good afternoon. Uh, Virgin 24 Tango approaching November 1 1. Good afternoon, Virgin 24 Tango, Frankfurt A Prem, stand Victor 129, taxi straight ahead. Left Lima, hold short of November 8th. Uh, expecting stand Victor 129, uh, taxi straight ahead, left Lima, and hold short November 8th. Uh, Virgin 2 for Tango. He speaks nice and clearly, with pauses, as an order. Fantastic. Clear and loud. That's what we want. Okay. 
Landing lights off, and I'm going to turn the strobe off as well. I'm getting a bit, a bit wonky here. Okay, we are getting a few stutters. This is a very uh, graphics-heavy airport, and we have a lot, a lot of traffic here on the ground at Frankfurt. There is an overload event on VATSIM, so people are flooding this airport. Okay, Lima, Connect Apron, 121855, 1 to 1, 8555 on Lima, follow Tango to Mike, follow Coffee, thank you. 121855, I think you said there. Let's try and get that in. 1, 1, 2, 1, 8, 5, 5. Oh no! Oh no, I'm drifting, I'm drifting. I need to concentrate. Okay, left on Lima, second, it's the second left here at Lima. 121, 8. Frankfurt, 2 kilo. 2 kilo, Frankfurt, Apron, good afternoon. Send Alpha 14, taxi straight ahead, left Lima, hold short of November 8. Okay, you'll have to oh say dear. that all again, sorry. Oh dear. No worries, 2 Lufthansa 2 kilo, send Alpha 14. This is what happens four, when I try and set the radio. Ahead. Then I need a radio Lima view set. And hold short of November 8. Okay, uh, uh, taxi straight ahead, left onto Lima, then uh, hold short November 8, 2 Alpha 1, 4, left hands at 2 Kilo. You need to connect to V-Pilot and then you tune your frequency. Hey, did that Lufthansa disappear? He did. He's disappeared. There was a Lufthansa in front of me. He's gone. Poof. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I think I'm all right. Hold short November 8 was my next instruction, which is coming up very soon. In fact, it's here. Emergency for Tango, hold short November 8. Uh, to 2 for Tango, thank you. Connect April now, bond 2 bond, decimal 855. Bye bye. 1 2 1 855, thanks for the cover. Choose Virgin 2 for Tango. Frankfurt, a uh, ground low look to the 4th. 454, contact April 1 to 1, decimal 755. I'm sorry, I didn't change frequency. There's a lot of 787s about, it's nice to see. Lufthansa 15902, April 1 to 1, decimal 755. Okay, pilot. One, two, one, See you next time, mate. Thanks for watching. Ocean 60, my mic contact everyone. One, two, one, seven, five, five. So, on the radio panel here. You can change it on the MCDU as well, but I like to do it on the radio. Frankfurt apron, uh, Virgin 2 for Tango, held short November 8. One, two, one, seven, five, five, nine, eight, seven, thank you, Robert. Virgin 1, correction, Virgin 2 for Tango, apron, good day. Continue, hold short of November 4. Continue and hold short November 4, Virgin C for Tango. November 4 is the center. I'm expecting Victor 129, so it's out over there. There's a Lufthansa area over there on the left. That's where all these Lufthansa planes are coming from. Nice, Eurowings. I've not seen a Eurowings for a while. Okay, November 6 on our left. Or is this November 6? That's November 7. So, next one's November 6 then. 
November 4 is not as close. It's quite Thank far away. Thank you, Colin. Hello, Lufthansa, for you, Uniform Mike, for you, Charles Pushpa. The Uniform Mike, Apron, hello, I call you yellow line. Version 2 for Tango, Apron, 1 to 1, 9 of 5 5. 1 to 1, 9 of 5 5, Version 2 for Tango, thanks for cover. Lufthansa 6 9, Charlie, what do you think? How many minutes do you need until ready? We're just starting to end just normally for taxi. Was that 5.5 five or just 5? It was just 5. 1, 2, 1, point nine five five. Come on. Come on. Was that 8? Right, 1, 8 by November, 8 November, and Hosha November 1, we will have 6 and try. From the Ford uniform, Mike, pushback approved, area 6, face it. Oh, there it is. Whew. Right. Frankfurt apron. Virgin 2 for Tango approaching November 4. Virgin 2 for Tango, April and low. Hello. Here's my hold short. There's a KLM. Beautiful little 737 there. Okay, Riley, thank you very much for watching, my friend. Please do hit that follow or subscribe Virgin if you're not done so already. Tango, San Victor, 129, I left November 4, November. Victor 129er left November 4 and November uh, Virgin uh, 24 Tango. Okay, so left April November. Hello, this is the KLM 25 from away November 3. KLM 355 62 Delta 8 Alpha via right on November. November 1 November. Which we are at. A little bit stuttery here, that's my fault. Uh, we are very, uh, very busy air airport here. D55, yeah, you just took the wrong exit, but that's no problem. Continue via November 3, right into November, stand Delta 8 Alpha. Right to November and okay, Delta 8 Alpha. I believe someone is Alpha in my way at the moment. Maybe. Version 2 for Tango, give way to the Boeing 737 KLM, crossing right to left, joining onto November. Give way to the KLM crossing right to left, uh, Virgin 2 for Tango. Okay, mate, see you next time, buddy. Version 6 8 Alpha, taxi November, November East, and hold short of Uniform 2. November to November East, hold short Uniform 2, uh, 6 8 Alpha, thank you. Two eight Lima Golf. Should be able to squeeze four, in. One, one, two. Thank you very much for your controlling. Uh, uh, oh, is he just driven through an aircraft? Shout out to Lima Golf. Thanks a lot for flying tonight or today, yeah. and hope you see you again today. Okay, we're one two nine, which is there. We should be able to make this turn without giving way to them. So let's let's do it. Let's get rid of these taxi lights for now, though, as well. Make our turn. Here it is. Victor 129 for Virgin, 24 Tango, here we go. There's a lot of aircraft here, look how busy it is, Lufthansa's everywhere. I've really enjoyed this guys, I hope you have too. If you have done, please do hit that follow button or subscribe. And I will catch you guys next time. Thank you very much for watching, this is the Horizon Sim. 7879 available soon it's fantastic it does the job okay, there we are so shut these engines down now Hotel Bravo Delta Tango Charlie taxi via Sierra 23 hold short of Sierra 23 hold for the room. There it is. Thanks, guys. Catch you next time. Enjoy the rest of your weekend. Bye bye.